Hello, my friends, and welcome to yet another vlog where I will be discussing how to spice up your blues soloing. First place we're going to start is imagination. So I want you to imagine a standard blues progression. And when I say standard, I would imagine you think the same thing as me, which is all dominant chords. Sounds pretty standard, right? And yet, as a guitar player, you're gonna run into this progression all the time. Especially if you like to go to open mic nights or jam with your friends or even play in a blues band, you're gonna have to find a way to not just play the same old stuff. That's awesome, and I could play that for the rest of my life, but I love variety. Variety is the spice of life. Honestly, there's a lot of blues guitar players out there who are much better at phrasing and all the other blues tricks than I will ever be. But there's one thing that can separate you from that amazing yet traditional blues guitar player. But in order for you to understand what that is, you have to use your imagination. Okay, so what do I mean by using your imagination? What I literally mean is instead of thinking of these chords, it would help if I had volume. When you run into these chords, instead of thinking of them as just dominant chords that you play your, in this case, G minor pentatonic scale over, I want you to think of the context of F major. Instead of thinking of this chord progression as an ambiguous blues scale, blues tonality, I want you to think instead in the key of F major, which would, in turn, make this G Dorian. Now, I'm not telling you to abandon the minor pentatonic scale completely, because one of the great things about the Dorian mode is you can still kind of phrase it in a bluesy fashion in most of the minor pentatonic notes Actually, all of them exist within this Dorian mode. The differentiation happens when you escape from this position on the neck. So if everybody else in the band is hearing this chord progression, I want you to imagine this chord progression. Having that frame of mind is going to change your playing from sounding like this into sounding like this. Much more variety, still bluesy, but in my opinion, really cool. So if you're not familiar with the major scale modes, I definitely recommend that you check out Guitar Super System. It's a course that I teach. You can find the link in the description. The prices for this course have recently gone way down because I decided to lower the price. Everyone was giving me feedback they couldn't afford the price, so you asked, I answered. I think it's very affordable now. It's essentially the entire curriculum of music college condensed into eight different courses. So you can start with level one and then move on from there. So please check it out. It really helps me continue to make these videos. And I also want to tell you guys one more thing. If you go to my Facebook page, I'm running a poll right now to ask your input about an ebook title. So I have four different titles there. I'm asking you'll go there and answer the poll of which title you like the best because I value your guys' input. So I'm gonna do a little improvising over a backing track to show you how I like to put this concept that I just showed you, this imagination concept, into action. I really hope this helped you guys. This is how I approach every blues progression that I, uh, that I find myself in where it's just kind of 
standard. So uh, you know how I like to mix things up. It's all about using your imagination. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.